Namaste. This evening, I'd like to um, talk with you a little bit around desire and um, dropping into the deeper awareness of desire and how that fits into the spiritual path. So, do you have desires? <laughs> What are your desires? What do you, where do you put desire? Is it into uh, what do I desire sexually? Mm, do you think about that? What? It's an interesting question, actually, isn't it? What do you desire sexually? And what I find really interesting about this question, what one desires sexually, is. Um, <laughs> Um, if you consider your lover relationships do you remember having a conversation before you make love to someone about what you desire in that moment you know why are you reaching towards them what is your desire do you want to just um have a, some a fun physical experience do you have some fantasy you want to play out are you playing out some fantasy unconsciously and not even discussing it with your partner um you know just kind of trying to move them like you watched some porn last week and saw some anal sex or something and now you're like okay how could I edge them into the anal sex without asking for it directly? Until eventually maybe if you have to ask for it, but you just try this and that instead of having a conversation because um, I'm sure there's some sexual things um, in the realm of this existence that uh, for your mind it might seem very, um, why not? Why not that? Let's do that. That looks like fun. And then for your partner, it might be like completely out of their range. They might not have even considered it. I mean, you know, not so long ago, it was really unknown that a woman may have sex with a man, uh, as, as a man with a strap on, you know, as a male partner. When I first heard about that, something in me was quite shocked. I was even upset with the person who told me. I said to her, don't tell me things like that. It upsets me. I was like, I was just like, it just, it just, I don't know. I think what was most upsetting about it for me, to be honest, was this idea of plastic. From the most, the youngest I can remember myself, I remember was about, my parents were still married, so I must have been like four years old. And it was Christmas. I thought, what are they going to get me for Christmas? You know what they got me? <laughs> they got me this plastic uh, cot for a doll. Got me a plastic cot for a doll. And, and I was so upset at their aesthetic that they would buy me something it was just plastic. This little plastic rocking thing. I was astounded at them, <laughs> shocked, <laughs> yeah, so I think when my friend told me about this plastic dildo strap-on that a woman will put on and then have anal sex with her partner, I was just like, you'd rather have sex with a piece of plastic than with a woman? <laughs> I mean, I get, I get the layers of it more now, but that was my first response, I think. Like, I just, plastic? You want to make love to him? <laughs> so it just, it was really out of my range, and it, it, it actually upset me. So it's, it may seem very strange, if they, so now you have been watching a lot of um, pornography, and people are doing anal sex, and women seem to love it when men climax on their face or something. That when you would like to do this with your partner, she may not respond in the same way. 
So I think what's really helpful, really helpful with people is to communicate. I mean, you've heard that a lot, right? We should communicate. <laughs> Let's communicate more. And so a really um, beautiful way to communicate and open the, the gateway into, into this energy of desire, to call desire forth, it's, it may be helpful to sit with someone in a conscious and present way and say to him and say to her, what do you desire? What do you desire? Before we enter into this space of intimacy, of vulnerability, openness. You know, as a woman, it's a very vulnerable place, sexuality, for our bodies to be entered. And for a man also, there's a vulnerability, a different flavor of vulnerability, but certainly a vulnerability as well. I mean, do you even desire this in this moment? No. Ah. And my sense is, because we don't even take the time, the honor, the respect to inquire into our desire sexually when we're about to make love, whether with ourself or with the person we're going to make love to. We don't take that. We can't, we can't give ourselves that much. Then how can you ask yourself about other aspects of desire? Like how do you just desire to even spend this moment? Or mm, how do you connect with the energies of desire that rise in your body and shimmer in a magnetic way, attracting the very essence of, of what that vibration of desire is. A vibration is a shape. So if there's a vibration, a shape of desire in your body, it, it, it calls to you. And if for some reason you do not feel like you have permission to desire. You like I recently um, had an interaction with a man. Now I have an interaction with a little moth. <laughs> um, and I was like really clear with him. I said to him, if you actually would want to make love to me, as in penetrate my body, you need to ask me permission before you do. Yeah, I told him clearly. And then we were just having some light, a light connection and light fun together, I thought. And in the next moment, he, he kind of got on top of me, his one hand on my right breast, like kind of falling off. And then I was like, what is this guy doing? You know, what's happening? And the next moment, um, he was attempting to penetrate me. And you know, it, it stopped there. And I was like, why don't you ask me permission before you do that? What's going on with you? And he said, no woman has ever requested that from him before. I was astounded. Astounded. Woman? <laughs> do you know? I mean, I get it. There is that kind of romance where you're just so in love and flowing and just, you know, it's just, it's just going into the lovemaking. But I feel that's a little wishy-washy in some ways. Like when you're starting to step into conscious sexuality and really starting to slow down into the moment and feel what's arising, I think that's truly valid for the partner to pause long enough say, you, would you like this? Would you like me to enter you now? How would you like to go about that? Maybe you don't want me to ask you, but then you can tell me that beforehand and I shan't. Or you like me to ask, and of course I shall. You know, so these, these things are, seem fundamental in some way, but seem so absent in so many relations, especially long-term ones. 
people who've been married for some time, they, they, they don't, I don't, they don't consider this as an option. 